Hello YouTube, my name is Speeding Viper and welcome to the San Marino Grand Prix. It is race for this series, has been absolutely incredible. If you missed the last race, you really do have to go check it out. An absolutely incredible battle for the lead incurred. And once again, it is E-Day and Sato. First and second. I believe this is E-Day's final race. Where the hell's my iPad? But clean. Clean and sick. So, you know, he could look to take something away from this race with his sixth place. Oh god, I didn't want that video to play. But Takuma Sato, a bit of a mediocre start, really. And it's still Super Guri 1 2. Behind him is Sato. Next is Alvarez. It's not much position change, it is speed, clean, Lietzi, 5th, 6th and 7th, with the BMW Sauber in there as well, BMW Sauber, 8th place, holding the final point, Lietzi, I tell you what, he's having a go at clean. I've, I've mentioned it before, and it, it has happened in this series, but Toro Rosses have been able to overtake Red Bulls, and Montero and Speed going side by side out of the hairpin, but nothing's come of that, quite frankly. So there's Liuzzi, he has the BMW Sauber on the back of him, might be Villeneuve. Clean all over the back of Scott Speed. In theory, Scott Speed would let Clean through at this point, but nope, that's that's not happening. It's Heitfeld actually in eighth. So we're looking back to the field just to make sure there's no crashes down and at that chicane, and yes there is. He's out of the race. That's got to be a disappointing result. Button is also involved. It's so Jensen Button getting involved. We're going to have to go take a look at a replay of it in just a second. We're going to follow Button around for a few more seconds. Barry Curls looking kind of close actually as they approach the final chicane, but no. This team it doesn't have a go at him. So here is the replay now. We're coming up to the chicane. We're going to see what happens. And Button goes up the inside of Barry Curl into the chicane and straight into the back of the seven time world champion. So that is Michael Schumacher out of the race. So she bears Liuzzi again. Still pretty close to the back of Clean. The field looks like this. First is Ida. Sato is second. Christian Albers is third. Montero is fourth. Speed is in fifth. Clean is sixth. In seventh place is Liuzzi. Heitfeld is in eighth place. Speed all over the back of that Midland. So is Lietzi all over the back of Cleon through that hairpin. So the Toro Russell seems to be set up slightly better for some of the slower corners than Red Bull. And that is keeping Lietzi on the back of Christian Cleon in the Red Bull. There, it's all over the back of him once again as they go into a slower corner. And they come out now and he's going to be right on the back of him for the chicane. So Scott Speed on uh, Montero. But not much position change has happened so far. Obviously, there'll be a few places switching around further back, but for now, the focus is on this battle for fourth place. Scott Speed trying to go up the inside of Montero. Doesn't get it done. Can he get close up for the final chicane? No, he can't. Doesn't get quite a good run through the final left hander before the chicane. So, the final left hander is in, like, you know, not chicane corners. Words, things. I don't know the names of corners. Leave me alone. Right. So there's a Williams in there along with Villeneuve. Because Heitfeld in eighth, he's holding the final point. It's clean all over the back of Scott Speed. So Clean's picking up the pace a little bit, but there's definitely a Williams in there and cool fire that I can see in the background as well. Scott Speed's dropped off a little bit, and now he's falling into the clutches of Christian Clean. Can the Red Bull driver make a move on the Red Bull B team, Toro Rosso, or Team Red Bull in Italian? Brilliant creativeness there. I mean, you know, you took over from Minardi. Maybe you could have kept the name, but no. Scuderia Toro Rosso, Team Red Bull. So Rosberg now is trying to make a move on Nick Heidfeld. Had a bit of contact with Heidfeld 
through the chicane. The clean's been slowed up a little bit. Uh, going into the left hand, he's had a bad run through there. Liuzzi right on the back of him now as we approach the final chicane. Then throws it up the inside, takes the place away from Christian Clean. He is up into sixth place now. I said it early on in the race. The gap is now 1.2 seconds. Ide pulling away in the lead. But I said it early on in the race. Liuzzi could look to take the position away from Christian Clean, and indeed he has. Clean not taking that line down though. But Scott Speed all over the back of Tiago Montero still. Liuzzi sixth. He's up from seventh. Clean is seventh. Heitfeld is in eighth place. So Liuzzi looking to mount a charge. And both Torosas are really because Scott Speed is all over the back of the Midlands car. Can he get a move into the chain? No, has to back out of it. Flicks to the left. That's going to put him under pressure from his teammate Liuzzi. Clean in there as well as Heitfeld. And no moves happen. But Heitfeld all over the back of Clean now as they bunch up together. That Midland car holding them in a train. The Tiago train. Going side by side, trying to at least clean, having a look around the outside of Liuzzi. But the two spread apart to really do anything about it. There is Liuzzi. Look at how much time he's gaining in that final chicane. He's gaining so much time in the first part of that chicane. And it's helping him defend from clean, it's helping him go on to the back of his teammate Scott Speed. There's Albers in third. And Sato's not too far down the road, along with Ide, they've both closed in on the Super Guru driver starting from pole due to reverse grid. Not much position change has gone on in the top five, in fact none for the entirety of the race has gone on in the top five. But speed once again all over the back of the Portuguese driver again has to flick to the left to back out making sure he doesn't run into the back of the Midlands car and again they bunch up for that chicane two Torosa drivers get so close to the back of Montero as they approach this left-hander but they can't do anything about it and that's slowing them down bunching them into the faster cars behind and Liuzzi getting slowed up quite a bit there but I think he's going to get too much of a better run for Cleon to make any advantage of it in this final chicane. There's Heitfeld and Villeneuve. Scott Speed all over the back of Thiago Montero once again. He's a bit close this time. Can he get it up at the inside into turn one? He has a look, but he can't get it done. Just not enough space for him. And Sato falling back into the clutches of Albers. Christian Albers is third. Montero is fourth. Speed is in fifth. Liuzzi sixth. Clean is seventh. Heitfeld is in eighth place. Albers trying to take a tighter exit, trying to get some sort of line to work for him. But just can't find a way past Takuma Sato. As Christian Clean starting to come under pressure a bit from the BMW Sauber of Nick Heitfeld and Villeneuve. Just one position behind them as well, so he could come into play. But now Alves has been affected somewhere. Maybe had to back out of a move against Takuma Sato, but he is under pressure from his teammate, and so is Scott Speed on the back of Thiago Montero. So the top few cars definitely bunching up. It's the punch up going into this left hand, it's going to slow people down, and that has put Scott Speed right on the front of his teammate Liuzzi but he's going to get a better run through the left hand as they approach the final chicane Montero gaining some time on his teammate through that chicane as Liuzzi has done just about every single lap he gets a good run through there and he's right on the back of his teammate could we see a move this time into turn one nope just absolutely no moves at all but this has been a great battle Overtaking is so difficult around here. Track position is everything in qualifying. But Villeneuve has made his way into 8th place. Maybe Heightfield couldn't get past 
Christian clean enough and BMW Sauber tried switching positions of the drivers trying to get something going trying to get more points in this race there's Fizzy Keller 14 so he's actually doing not too badly he's moving up the field and Alonso 19th so five places between them and Button and Barry Keller the last of the runners they're not having a great race leading the championship of course in both aspects Barry Keller in the lead of the drivers and Honda in the lead of the constructors as they massively bunched up there really massively bunched up I'm not sure what that was and I saw a bit of smoke as well and Scott Speed is in ninth. what has happened to Scott Speed we're gonna have to take a look at a replay of this so here we go we're coming down to the double right hander we're going down the hill now the two Midlands and the two Torosos how went wide so that's what bunched them up here I was wondering why they suddenly got so bunched up together that's what's bunched them up and yeah so Rosberg tried to make something out of that but he couldn't quite do it but that's put both BMW Saubers into the points there's Alonso it's put me on a stupid camera but Still two hundreds last and Ide and Sato remained one two for the entirety of this race. They could go on to take a one two. As Liuzzi's found his way past Montero. He has found his way past maybe getting a good run out of that uh, left hander before the chicane. And has been able to throw it up the inside as he did with Cleon. It's Scott Speed down to ninth. Can he get back onto the BMW Sauber's as they are held up in that Tiago train as has been going on for quite a while in this race the two BMW Sauber's definitely battling out with each other and that has slowed them, one of them down Heightfield in front of Scott Speed and Speed, the American all over the back of Nick Heightfield in the BMW Sauber Torosso are putting up a fight in this race so Liuzzi on a charge has closed right up to the back of Albers in front of him and look at again gaining so much time this time gets a spectacular line and he's all over the back of that Midlands. Surely he's got to make a move this time. He's going to have to go around the outside. Can he switch it to the inside? He's going to have a look, but no way through. He's still on the back of him as they go through the right hander, through the left. And coming up to the headpin, maybe he could get it up the inside if he has a good run through here. And that has not been a good run at all. Missed the apex, and that has put Montero onto the back of him. Two BMW South is still absolutely going at it in the background, and Cleon has caught up to the back of Montero. So there's Scott Speed, he's still on the back of Villeneuve. Uh, no, it's Heitfield in eighth. He's still on the back of Heitfield every now and then. As there's an engine failure for Liuzzi. Oh, he's had such bad luck. He's been doing spectacular in the races. Liuzzi has been driving absolutely spectacularly. He's been moving through the field well. I mean, he started, what, 12th in Australia, moved his way into 6th before his rear wing came off. Where did the Rhino come from? Liuzzi, another retirement for him as Fizzy Keller has come absolutely out of nowhere, down the outside of about 50 million cars to take 9th place. And Rosberg trying to get 7th away from Scott Speed, but Speed not giving him up. He's charging forward. He's just posted a lap time of 123.81. Finding it difficult to match that sort of pace is Montero. He's been lapping around the high 125s, low 126s. Someone else has been driving very well in this series has been Villeneuve. And we hear there's just been an incident at turn five. Oh, we've got an incident. Schumacher. That is Ralph Schumacher with a puncture. Alonso was the other car involved in that incident. Ooh, Fernando Alonso got involved. 
So something going on between the champion and Michael Schumacher's brother Ralph Schumacher. So here is the replay now. It's going to the fast right hander. Oh, Alonso trying to find a gap where there wasn't one, and his front wing just clips the rear wheel of Ralph Schumacher, giving him a puncture. Montoya all over the back of his teammate Kimi Raikkonen. Can we see a move into this hairpin? All these guys are very bunched up together. Uh, Michi Kane, of course, not hairpin. No moves taking place as Scott Speed still in seventh. He's closed up a bit to Christian Clean. I'm sure he has. But Torosso has had such bad luck recently. The pressure is now on him to come up with a good in these final few laps. He could surprise a few people yet. If things continue, it's not looking great for Sato. The gap now stands at three tenths of a second. Albus could take second. The lap strongly. He's extended the gap by another tenth of a second. Sato is once again on top. He was quicker through that last sector and extends his lead. He's extended the gap by another tenth of a second. So. Albers and Sato are going at it, trading faster sectors. But these two teams coming in with zero and two points in respective track order. Sato on a charge right now. Look at the gap he's pulled to Albers and look at the gap he's reduced to E Day as there is the stricken back marker of Ralph Schumacher. But coming up to the penultimate lap of the Grand Prix, and it's been absolutely spectacular. Montero starting to come under pressure from Villeneuve, who I've mentioned has been driving absolutely spectacularly this season, and gets a good run through there onto the back of Thiago Montero now. Can he make a move? This He's been one of the few people overtaking in this race. The other people have been Liuzzi and Fizzy Keller, pretty much. That's it. Obviously, maybe a few moves going on further back for position, but these ones, you know, that actually make a difference are for points. Liuzzi with such bad luck. Absolutely unbelievable. He's been driving so, so well, and he's retired, I think, three races in a row. Gearbox failure, Malaysia, rear wing falls off in Australia, and engine failure here at San Marino. Fizzy Keller. All over the back of the Torosa driver of Scott Speed now. And he's going to go down the outside. Scott Speed had to go up the inside of Clean. That was interesting. But Fizzy Keller round the outside of the double left handers. Gets the move done. Speed taking a bit of a Leotzi line through there. Trying to get back onto the back of the Renault car. But it is. Super Guri 1-2 as we go on to the final lap of the Grand Prix. It is still Albers in third, Montero fourth. No, he does not. That is way too much of a gap for, to close in between a Midlands and a Super Guri. Clean. Defending from Giancarlo Fisichella now, who is on a charge in these last few laps. Villeneuve on the back of Montero. Can he hang on to fourth place for the Midlands team? That'll be a huge amount of points for these two small teams. The first seasons in F1. Clean! Clean is out! Unbelievable. So Fisichella was on the back of Christian Clean, but his engine has failed. Coming out of the left-hander, going down the hill, and Clean is out again. That's three races in a row for Christian Clean as well. 
But here is Yuji Ida, his final race in F1 as he rounds the final chicane to take the win in San Marino. And his teammate Takuma Sato comes across the line for second place. And Aldous Montero takes third and fourth as well. This is what the small teams need. A huge amount of points for these two teams. A huge amount of points for the drivers. And Ide, his last race in F1. But he ends on a high as he wins. Now, if you notice on the um, championship results for the last race, I did include uh, Nick Heidfeld as 10th, which is where he would have if uh, all finishers driving uh, lined up ahead of all DNS not my, not taking into account laps completed and that's what I'm going to do for Ralph Schumacher he should be 19th game classifies him as 20th I'm not sure if he classifies him at all here but that is an unbelievable race absolutely unbelievable the races have really been spectacular in recent times these two rounds these past two rounds have been so unbelievable and Fizzy Keller getting some points for Renault they need some of those they are down in 8th in the championship right now and obviously they're going to move up a few positions uh, I think only one actually or maybe not even one we're on to the championship standings now so here is the championship table, uh, Rubens Barrichello lucky enough to still be on top of the standings with Ralph Schumacher still in second place, Felipe Massa is in third, I've done a bit of a glitch with um, position numbers for Ralph Schumacher and Felipe Massa but that should be fine. Um, only three competitors yet to score points. Surprisingly, Fernando Alonso is amongst those, especially because his teammate Giancarlo Fisichella is in, um, where's he up? He's hiding somewhere. Tenth place is where Fisichella is, eight points ahead of his teammate Fernando Alonso. Kimi Raikkonen is in fifth with Jacques Villeneuve in fourth. And David Coulthard in sixth, Yuji Ide and Takuma Sato moving up into 7th and 8th after getting some points on the board and Christian Albers joins Fizzy Keller on the 8th point mark. Montero sits himself in 12th place after such a strong performance by the uh, smaller teams. It just didn't really go the way of Toro Rosso this time out. But on to the constructors standings and Honda is still on top after a shocking performance at the San Marino Grand Prix. They're 2 points ahead of Ferrari who was a further point ahead of Toyota, of course. Toyota pretty much being carried by Ralph Schumacher. Super Guri put themselves into fourth place with the 1-2 finish at the San Marino Grand Prix. And McLaren slopped back down into fifth place. Every team getting some points on the board, and Toro Rosso is the last of those, with Red Bull only in eight themselves behind two of the three new teams, the third new team of course, being the Red Bull B team, Scuderia Toro Rosso. Williams are down there in 9th with Renault only having one driver scoring points in 10th place. So it is all to play for, everything is tense. It is an, it's been an absolutely incredible battle so far and just to end it off, apologies for taking absolutely ages with it. I've been a little bit ill and uh, also very busy at the same time, which means that I haven't been able to get these out as quickly as uh, I've had the one-off videos, such, as, uh, such things as the highlights from various things, uh, the really interesting apology for my shocking driving in the Formula Memes event and um, other things like that. But for now guys, round 5 is next, I'm, I am going to be doing a live comment of that one, these videos so far haven't been uh, live commentary, I was going to be starting the Jaguar career mode with live commentary, but I forgot to set external recording on Fraps, but uh, join me next time, I'll see you then.